Today we'll be looking at how to write the introduction paragraph of your persuasive essay. So we are going to be writing four paragraphs total. So today we are talking about the very first paragraph in your essay. So there are three main things we need to include in this paragraph. A hook to grab the reader's attention, a thesis statement that says the main point of our paper, and then our two main points or reasons that we are using to support our main idea, our thesis. So the first thing is the hook. So this is the very first sentence you are going to start your introduction with, right? The idea behind the hook is that it's going to grab the reader's attention, right? Like a hook, like a fish hook, grabs the reader's attention and makes them want to keep reading, right? Um, so we want it to kind of be interesting. So a couple of ideas that you can use um, to, to start your essay with, um, you could use a, just a general statement. And this one, you know, is obviously not quite as interesting as the others. Most teenagers today play video games, right? Um, you know, some sort of general statement about your topic um, that, you know, makes, makes it clear that, it, that the topic is relevant and relatable. Um, another idea, and I think this is a really good place for you to shine, um, is an anecdote, right? A short little tiny story. An anecdote is a short story, um, just a couple sentences um, about your own experiences, right? How can you relate to this topic? So we have this example here. My eyes are bleary, my neck is sore, and my hand is cramping. I just spent the last four hours playing Fortnite, right? We're just kind of giving the reader a glimpse into what what this topic is about, right? And you are kind of showing your relationship with the topic already. So any kind of little short story that you can think of um, to start, I think would be great, um, especially using really good imagery like this, right? Really describing um, what you're experiencing, your thoughts and feelings. Um, and then another one is a statistic or a quote, a fact, a definition, anything um, from your article that you think would be helpful um, to help grab the reader's attention. So make sure you're, you are citing the article, right? According to the New Zella article, according to the Scholastic article. Um, but if you want to pull a fact or something from that article that you think would really be grabbing the reader's attention, definitely um, feel free to use that as your first sentence. Okay, so we have an example here. Um, it says, beep, beep, beep. I reach blindly to silence my alarm. I squint, shielding my eyes from the bright light of my phone screen. 7.30 a.m., November 1st. It's Wednesday, the day after Halloween, and my head hurts. I stayed up late last night and ate a little. Okay, a lot. Too much candy. So this would be an example of an anecdote, a short little story of this person's experiences. And this introduction comes from a different prompt. This is not the prompt that you guys are writing about. Um, so then the next sentence in your introduction, after you've started out with your hook, right, the very first sentence or first few sentences of your introduction, you're going to kind of explain or connect your hook, right, your attention getter um, to the topic, to the um, prompt that you're writing about, right? So um, this person's prompt is about why Halloween should be moved to a Saturday, right? So I am making a connection between this story and my thesis statement, right? I believe Halloween should be moved to a Saturday. So this one says, this miserable situation could have been prevented though, right? Instead of celebrating on Halloween on this day, right? I'm connecting this story to my main point about how we should move Halloween. Okay, so if you have, you know, in your essay, right? If you have a statistic, right? We wanna make sure we are explaining that statistic or explaining that quote and why it's important to our main point of our essay. So that leads us to our thesis, right? The main point of the whole essay is our thesis statement. And this is gonna be in your graphic organizer as well, um, but we wanna make sure our point is clear. We have to choose a side, right? You can't say, oh, binge watching is sometimes good, binge watching is sometimes bad, right? We can't be wishy-washy. We have to choose a side when we're doing persuasive writing. So your thesis is going to be clear about what you believe, okay? So it might look something like this. Binge watching is a harmful addiction, right? This makes it clear what side of the argument the person is on, or video games should not be considered a sport. So your thesis, the main point of your whole essay, 
what you're going to be writing about the whole time has to be in this introduction paragraph. So this person, um, their whole essay is about how Halloween should be moved to a Saturday, right? Clear. I believe Halloween should be moved to a Saturday. It takes a side. All right. And then the last thing we need to have in our introduction is the two points that you are going to talk about in your body paragraphs, right? We're not making up anything new for our introduction. These are the same two points that your body paragraphs are about. Um, we want to list them in order. So if this connects people with others, right? If binge watching connects people with others, that's what I'm going to talk about in my first body paragraph, then that needs to be listed first in my thesis statement, right? And if this helps people relax, that's in my second body paragraph. That's my main reason of that paragraph. That needs to be listed second, okay? So your main two points that you're talking about in your two body paragraphs should be listed just short, right? Not the whole paragraph, but we need to list those two main points in the introduction. So here's an example. Celebrating Halloween on the weekend would be safer. That's what that person's first body paragraph is about, is how moving Halloween to a Saturday would be safer. And then the second point is it will allow for more quality time with family and friends. Okay, so we need to include those two main reasons that you're going to talk about in that introduction.